As the DP President General Norbert Mao was in Gulu for his homecoming, a faction group led by a section of legislators gathered at Christ the King Church in Kampala for a Thanksgiving Mass, seeking God's intervention into the DP's and ending wrangles. The DP wrangles stem from the decision by the party leadership to sign a cooperation agreement with the ruling National Resistance Movement, which later rewarded Norbert Mao with a ministerial appointment. The group, led by Buikwe South Member of Parliament Dr. Lulume Baiga, comprised of elders and other party members that denounced Mao's leadership. Richard Olwen has the details. By 10 a.m., another DP faction that had disowned the party president general, Nobat Mao's homecoming event in Gulu, had already convened at Christ the King Church in Kampala for a Thanksgiving mass. The faction group, led by Buyuke South legislator Dr. Lulu Mebaiga, were just a handful dressed in party colors with t-shirts and shirts bearing rhetoric DP slogans occupied the middle seat of the church, leaving most parts vacant. When their leaders stepped up onto the podium to speak, the angry politicians denounced the Gulu Nobat Mao's homecoming. He's having a function in Guru as a minister of justice and constitutional affairs having been appointed by the government in power. What we don't want our people to believe is that that is a DP function. It has never been sanctioned by any organ of the party, so it cannot be <laughs> an occasion of the party. In the course of the mass, names of party historicals like Bendicto Chuanuka, Paul Kawanga Semogere, John Sevana Chizito, and Matayo Mugwanya were common in most speeches, with every speaker accusing Mao of having failed to learn from the past leaders by signing a cooperation agreement with the NRM. So he's no longer breathing DP, he's breathing NRM. Today at his function... You can't talk about DP and you don't talk about Ben, ben Chwanuka. You can't talk about DP and you don't talk about Latin. You can't talk about DP and you don't talk about Semua Gereri. You can't forget Seban. So we dedicated this day for our heroes. Borrowing from the Bible story of Lazarus, Reverend Father Remejo Katerega preached to the angry DP politicians, asking them to have faith, like the relatives of Lazarus, that the Almighty Father will intervene in their situation. It's not too late for us, dear brothers and sisters. God gives us a second chance. The greatest challenge of life, the tragedy of life, is what dies in man while he still lives. The 42 Close Cooperation Agreement has since split DP with some demanding that their president general steps down as the DP president general. In the agreement, the two parties not only agreed to share political power, but also to foster constitutionalism and the respect of human rights. Richard Olwen, NBS, live at nine.